So, it's another day again, everyone. So, but before we start, let's <clears throat> have a prayer, okay? So, Princess, can you lead the prayer for us this morning? Yes, teacher, classmates. Go ahead. Ready to pray? Yes. Lord, thank you. Sorry for the mistakes that we made. We pray that we learn and enjoy today's class with classmates and teachers. Please keep us and our loved ones safe. Please we ask in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, morning everyone. Good morning students. Good morning. How are you? Are you guys alright? Good morning. Good morning po teacher. Morning. So, but before we proceed, of course, we will do our usual routine, okay? Listen to teacher. When I raise a finger, you will raise both of your hands in front of the, your cameras, okay? Raise both of your hands. Two fingers, you will shake them. And three fingers, you will give us a thumbs up, okay? So, we can know that everyone is all ready, okay? So, let's do it. Okay. Let me see those hands. Let me see those hands. All right. Okay, shake them. And lastly, thumbs up. Okay, so I can see that everyone is ready. Very good, class. Okay. So, for our attendance, group representatives, can you give us the attendance for your group today for group one. A yes, ah, complete po, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Complete po, teacher. Okay, and lastly, Princess, how is your complete? Po. Thank you very much. Okay, that is very nice, everyone. We're all present today. Okay, so. To proceed, we will recall our previous lesson, okay? Can you still remember our previous lesson? Anybody? What is it? But, sir, yes, motion okay. of objects for... That's great. Motion of objects. So today, we will recall that, okay, using an activity. Which is entitled, Save the Flower, okay? We will save the flower. You are... Uh, superheroes today, okay? By those pictures that I'm showing, what can you see? What can you observe on these pictures? Flower. A flower, that's right, thank you. And what is the other object? Watering can. Watering can, okay. So, your job today is to save the flower by providing the right answer for each petal, okay? Using the guide in the watering can. So, just like how we water our plants or the flowers to save them. Okay, so who wants to save the flower first? Who wants to initiate it, okay? Our first superhero, who wants to do it? Anybody? Very nice, go ahead. Objects in motion will stop moving if there is blank to stop it. The answer, teacher, is force. That's right. If there is a force to stop it, okay, an object will stop moving. Okay, next one. Who wants to... Oh, okay. I guess I go ahead. Objects at rest are pulled to the ground by the force of blank. The answer is gravity. Gravity, you're right. And our third superhero who wants to do it, pick a petal. Go ahead. Is it you, Jason? Objects move blank. Oh, okay. If you pull it, slower. That's right. It will move slower. Thank you very much. And for our second to the last petal, we're almost done. Who wants to do it? Very nice. Spring-like objects move by 
blank and blank. The answer is stretching and compressing teacher. Very good. Okay. I can see that you can still remember our previous lesson. Okay. For our last petal, we're almost done. Okay. Who wants to do it? I guess I go ahead. Objects move blank if you push it with more force. The answer is faster. faster. Okay. Great job, everybody. The flower is saved. You all did a great job. So, do this with teacher, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three One, on your thighs. And amazing, okay? Okay, let's do it again, okay? Do it with teacher. Three claps. One, two, three. One, two, One, two, three. One, two, three. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, great job, everyone. Of course, we're not done yet. We will do a motivational activity to break the ice. Of course, I know you want to, to be motivated for the, today's lesson, okay? So we will do a field trip bingo game, okay? So is anybody familiar or is everyone familiar with the game bingo? Are you guys familiar with it? That's great, okay? But for those who are not familiar with it yet, don't worry, I will explain it, okay? So a bingo is a game that uh, you will have cards that usually has numbers 1 to 65 on it, okay? So you will stamp a number on your card if it matches what the game master announced. And your goal is to have a vertical, diagonal, or horizontal pattern on your card, and you will yell bingo, okay? And the Game Master will verify your card if you actually did win. So that's how you would win it. Okay? Our game, however, is familiar or similar with it. Okay, But instead of just numbers, uh, you will see situations or experiences that you might already uh, experience during a field trip already. Okay, So I will give you a minute. To copy our reference, so did you bring your materials that I, asked, that I asked you to bring? Can you show it to the camera? All right, papers. Very good, everyone. You listen very well, so I'll give you a minute to copy our reference, and you don't have to worry on copying the actual experiences. Just copy the numbers so you can follow, okay? Go ahead. I will give you a minute. Go ahead, everyone. Singapore. Is everyone done? Singapore. Can you show your big card to the camera? All right, everybody. That's very great. Okay, so we'll, we'll now start, okay? I will pull. First experience from my bowl, okay? So listen very well. So, have you ever packed a healthy snack during a field trip? Have you ever packed a healthy snack? I hope I hope you did. <laughs> Not just junk foods. <laughs> okay, I hope you all did. <laughs> For our next experience. Oh, arrived late for the school bus. Have you already experienced this? Usually, we travel during a field trip very early. Oh, third experience. Went to a museum. Have you experienced going to a museum already? Oh, no one's winning yet. Okay, let's see for our fourth one. Got lost or separated from everybody. This is our fourth. Your bingo po. <laughs> okay, you got all the pattern. Okay. okay. I'm going to see you. Princess. And have a healthy snack. Oh. And what's the third one? A healthy snack. Okay, that's very great. 
Okay, that's our first winner, Princess. So we will continue. I will give you again another chance for our second winner, okay? So this is the fifth experience, okay? Well, asleep during the trip, okay? Or during the ride, okay? I'm waiting for our second winner. So, for six experience, sat beside the window. Sat beside the window. No bingos yet. Okay. No bingos. Bingo yet. for teacher. Okay, I so go ahead. Let's turn it. Oh, you too, J said. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I uh, please show your answers first. What are your oh the, there's a lot. Fell asleep before the trip and sat beside the window. Thank you very much. Okay. And you Jaisel, what's your experiences? Four and five four and five fell asleep. Before the trip, got and got lost. Oh, <laughs> it's good that you came back with everybody. Okay, thank you, everyone. We're done with this activity. Okay, give yourself a round of applause. All right. So, what can you say about our activity? Anybody? Turn on your mics. How did you find our activity? I like playing bingo. Oh, you like playing bingo, na? <laughs> Thank you. You will have an opportunity to play it again in the future. Okay? Anybody else? How did you find our activity? Go ahead, I guess, ha? I find field trips ano po nakakamis because today we don't have any opportunity to go on field trips po. Okay, that's very understandable nga naman no because of the pandemic, you cannot go outside really far and of course you are still children, you cannot travel during a pandemic because you are at risk. But uh we hope in the future we can do it again. Okay, thank you very much for your answers. But before we proceed, can I ask your personal experiences during a field trip? Okay, anybody? Embarrassing or uh, just memorable experiences? Do you have any that you can recall? Princess, okay. Go ahead. I in the Kitsanya. Where? Oh, I'm not familiar Mahapon, with that. Can you talk about it? Wow, what did you do there? Nagpunta po kami sa Kadzanya. Nag-field trip po kami. Sama ko po yung mga kids. That seems very fun, no? It's a very unique place. I don't think I heard that before. But good for you, Jaisel. I think that's a very fun experience. Anybody else? Your own experience? Can you share it? I'm sure some of you also experience a field trip. Anybody else? Okay, Berenice, give it a try. Go ahead. I think field trip is fun because I get to spend it with my mom. Mm, okay. That's a very great answer. Of course, we are always happy when we are with our loved ones, no? And for you, it's your mom, okay? That is very nice. Everyone, thank you for your answers and for your great participation for this activity, okay? Give yourself a round of applause again. Okay, thank you, everyone. Now we can proceed to our discussion, okay? Thank you. Hello, class. Can you see my screen now? Okay. So, again, hello, everyone. I am Teacher Lara, and we will now start our discussion. 
session. But before that, let me ask you something first. So after recalling your experiences through our field trip bingo, what did you feel about it, class? Okay, Princess. Namiss ko po mag-seal to pati makasama po ang aking friend. Wow, that's good to know because you miss ya, um, having a field trip. And for our next activity, we will go on a field trip. Okay, so uh, I can definitely see most of you are excited. But before that, I will proceed with the instruction first, the instruction of our activity. I want you all first to stay quiet and listen attentively, okay? So as I've said, we will have a field trip, although we cannot do an actual field trip where we go and visit different places. But today, our field trip or our tour will be virtual. And since we are not in a real classroom, nor can we go to our school because of our current situation, I will tour you in a virtual classroom. I will show you videos of two places in a virtual school. And what I want you to do is that you will list down all the names of the things that you will see in the video. So please get your notebook and pencil. Remember, this is an individual activity. So the student who can list the most things will get a plus point in our quiz or activity later. Do you understand what we will do in our activity? Yes, oh. yes teacher. Oh, that's great. oh, that's great. Again? Are you ready? I want you all to observe and list down all the things that you will see or find in the videos, okay? Are, are you ready? Do you have any questions? None for teacher. Yes. Okay. Can you all first show me a thumbs up? A thumbs up. Okay, if you're ready. Okay. So you are all ready. So let us now start our virtual school tour. For our first video, I will tour you in a virtual playground. And I will give you five minutes to find and list down all the things that you can see in this place. Don't forget our reminders, which is to um, turn your mic off, open your camera, be mindful of your classmates and our ongoing class, be cooperative, participate in our activity, and enjoy this tour. If you have any concerns, just click the raise hand button or raise your hand. Then I will call you so that you can open your mic and speak, okay? I will start now the video. We can start writing now. So, time stop, class. Stop writing. So, I can see from my screen that you're all doing your best to find and list down all the things that you can see in the video. But can someone share what you feel in our first stop? Okay, princess. Please open your mic and share your thoughts to the class. Gusto ko po kung pumunta sa playground. You miss playing in the playground. Oh, don't worry, once everything is back to normal, you can freely go out and play in a playground. Okay, so, okay, now turn your mic off again and we'll proceed to that next place. Thank you. So, the last stop of our virtual field trip, we will going to explore an observation room. Have you ever been to this kind of um, room before? Some of you nod, some of you shake your heads off, so it means no. And since some of you haven't 
in a haven't been in a observation room before and some of you have been to that place so in this part of our activity it will have a little twist so we will go inside and this room only has dim lights i will give you another five minutes and i want all of you to give your best in observing and listing the things that you can see in this room although it is a little dark you understand are you ready can you show me a thumbs up again if you're already good so now start Okay, so time's up. Please, pencils up. Pencils up. Please stop writing now. Very good. So before we begin our main discussion, let us first have a little sharing from our activity. So did you enjoy our field trip? Field trip? Hey, thumbs up. Oh, yes. So, did you find it easy exploring and finding the things in our virtual school? Please raise your hand or click the raise hand button below if you want to answer. Okay, princess, go ahead. Teacher, it's easy finding objects in the playground. Oh. It's easy. How about in the observation room? Is it hard to find things in the observation room? Yes, po, because there is no light. It's hard identifying objects. Very good. So, since in the playground, it is there are lights and it is um, during daytime, so it is easy to see things around. But in the observation room, since the lights are dim, it is a little hard. So, what do you think help you find um, the things around in the room, the observation room, or in the playground? Anyone? Put your hand. Okay, princess. In the playground, we use sun. So, the sun helped you find? The things around the playground. That's right. How about in the observation room? The dim lights help a little bit. Right. The light, the dim lights help you. Although it is um, dark in that room, but with the help of the dim lights, it helps you see the things around. So that's correct. So these things are what you have said or answered are just some examples of sources of light which we will elaborate later now let us see who found and listed the most can you please count all the names of the things that you have listed then type and send it in the chat box so jaisal got 18 princess got 15. how about the others Seventeen fifteen. Oh, so it seems that she said we said the most items. Good job. So let's give her a very good clap. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Stop your feet. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So later you will have a plus point during the quiz. I also want to add another clap for all of you for doing a good job. And for participating in our activity. So again, one, two, three, one, two, three, stop your feet. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. I am glad that you are that you're happy with our virtual field trip. 
So now to further elaborate what you had observed from our virtual field trip, let us proceed with our main discussion. For our discussion, we will have another activity. So here are some pictures. Can you tell me what this picture show? Okay, princess. Sources of lights. Sources of lights, correct. These are some pictures of different light sources. Later, I will show you, show and tell some situations, and you will identify and choose among these pictures what will be the appropriate light to use in the given situation. So now for your activity, you will write your answers on your mini whiteboard or the paper. So please prepare a paper, a marker, and your pencils. And I will give you some time to write your answers. Then you will raise and show it when I say the word up. Is that clear? Show it thumbs up. Okay, good. So are you ready now? Yes, po. Show me thumbs up again. Okay, so now let's proceed. So this is the first picture word. In this first scenario and picture, what do you see? Okay, princess. Dark living room po. Correct. You're right. This is a picture of a dark living room. And it needs something. So we can see it clearly. What do you think? What will be that something? Okay, yes, correct. Light helps us see our surroundings when it is dark. So how about this? This will be your first scenario. This living room does not have any electricity. Let's say that there's a brownout or blackout. So from this picture, what do you think can we use to light this place up? So you can use the pictures on the right side. Which among these pictures can we use to light the living room? You can write your answers now. I will count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Stop. Raise your words in three, two, one. Up. Okay. So, your answer. Oh, there's also a drawing. So, your answers mostly are candle and flashlight. Okay, so correct answers. The correct answers are candle and flashlight. So can someone explain why the other answers are wrong? Why is the lamp and the light bulb not included? Okay, very nice. Go ahead. Because there is no electricity for teacher. Very good. So since there are no electricity, we can only use flashlights and candles. A flashlight has batteries, while a candle only needs a fire, and both do not need any electricity. So very good. But what will happen next when we have these light sources? What happened in the picture? It is bright. It is bright. There will be some light, so it, it will not be dark anymore. So, very good. Now, how about this? For the second situation, what if the living room is dark, again, but there is electricity? Which among these can we use to light this place up? There's an available electricity. Elect Electricity. Electricity. So you can write your answers now. I'll count to up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Raise your boards in three, two, one, up. Okay, there's a drawing again. A light bulb, a lamp. Okay, so all of you got the correct answers. Very good. Good job. <laughs> so, good job everyone. We will see, I, 
Oh yeah, so we need the lamp and the light bulb to make the place brighter. And yes, we can still use the flash dry to light the place up. But since there's unavailable electricity, so we can use the light bulb and the lamp. So good job, everyone. Now, what will happen if we have induced these light sources in our living room? The living room is bright again. Correct. So, these light sources are helpful, aren't they? Who do you think made this? Humans, Paul. That's right. So, humans made this, or humans or people made this light. So, so these are called artificial sources of light. And they're also known as man-made because, just like what you have said, they are made by humans and man man people so the sources of light also needs current and batteries so for the next one again so this is the correct answer to the previous situation so how about this the next picture what can you see playground okay very good yes huh? so this is a picture of a playground so now playground you can see everything because it is still daytime so which among these lights on the right side which among them is the one responsible for making us see everything in this playground during daytime write your answers now i will count again up to five one two three four 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 five Okay, so raise your boards in three, two, one, up. Okay, very good. All of you got the correct answer again. So it, it is the sun. So yeah, this is the correct answer. But what about this one? The sun sets. The playground is dark. Again, it is um, nighttime. Which among these can help to light this place? Right here now. One, two, three, four, five. Raise your words in three, two, one. Up! Thank you for drawing. Okay. Oh, nice. So you are all correct. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so we have stars, the moon, and a firefly or firefly. To help us see in this dark night. Of course, the flashlight lamp can also help, but this one you can see only some pictures. So, the sources of light, like the sun, moon, stars, and fireflies, where do you think it came from? Are they also made by humans? No, for teacher. They are natural. Okay, very good. Very good, yes. Ah, these are called natural sources of light because they are given off by objects that come from the resources of on Earth. So we can see them in our environment or in our nature. That's why it is called natural. So great job, class. Since all of you did a very good job, all together, let us give ourselves amazing clap. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Amazing. 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 <laughs> so, okay. Wait. So let's go back again to the first scenario, which is in the living room. So can someone repeat the sources of light we discussed and the sources of light used in this room? Okay, princess, go ahead. Teacher, in the living room, we use the candle flashlight when there is no electricity and the light bulb and lamp when there is electricity. And these light sources are called what? Artificial. Because they are made by humans. Very good. <laughs> now, how about this one, the second picture, it's a, 
picture of a take down. What sources of light did we use? Okay. Sa? In this picture, we use the moon, stars, and the sun. These are called natural artificial natural source of light. Very good. So they are called natural sources of light. So the first one, there are artificial sources of light, but this one have natural resources of light, natural sources of light. So can you give more examples of natural sources of light other than the one the ones that I have shown to you, Berenice? Lightning po, teacher. Lightning, correct. Lightning is a is an example of natural source of light. Another one. Can anyone give another example? Okay, yes, ha? Lava po, teacher. Okay, correct. Lava and lightning. So thank you, very nice and Ayesa. So both of you are correct. You're right. That lightning and lava, lava from volcanoes, also produce light and it is all from the resources of the earth. Now, how about some examples of artificial sources of light? Can anyone give some examples? Yes, princess. Cell phone po. Why? Correct. Cell phone. Why cell phone? Yes. Because it's made by human. Correct. So since cell phone is um, a technology made by humans, it is under artificial light. So very good. And it also uses electricity and battery to produce light. Nature of glass. So it seems that you really learned a lot from our activities. So anyway, do you have any questions about our lesson for today? None. Okay, good. So let us summarize. Okay. To summarize our discussion, let us determine what are the other examples of artificial and natural sources of light. So as you can see here, we have a table with two columns. And I have here a plenty of cards with some pictures. So from these pictures, I will show them to you. And you will determine which among these pictures will be under the column of natural and artificial light sources. Okay? So the first one is the natural light sources or sources of light. Which among these cards do you think is under... The natural sources of light. Okay, princess. Natural. Sa natural po, it's lava, lightning, sun, and star. Very good. So, under the natural sources of light, there are the sun, stars, lightning, and lava. Now, how about the artificial light, sorts of light. Anyone? Okay, Berenice. So artificial po, teacher, fireworks, lighthouse, matches, Christmas lights, fire, and torch po, teacher. Okay, very good, Berenice. Thank you. So under the artificial sources of light, there are the fireworks, lighthouse, matches, Christmas lights, Torch and fire. Very good. So, in this picture, can you notice something that does not belong to the group? None? None. No. Okay. So, now after looking at these pictures and examples, can you please share in front of the class what you have learned by telling or giving a short description about natural life? Okay, very good. Oh, your princess? Picture the natural sources of light po came from the resources of the earth. Very good. So natural light or natural source of light from 
the earth or in our na in the nature. How about the artificial light? Okay, yes, ha? Artificial sources of light are man-made for teacher. Very good. So, in short, natural lights came from the sources of resources of the earth, while the artificial lights it are man-made. So great job! You really learned a lot from our discussion. Now let's keep, let's all give ourselves a great job clap. So one, two, three, one, two, three, great job! Okay, so thank you, everyone. Let's now proceed for our vacation activity. Okay, hello children. I am Teacher Kela, and for our application activity, we can now proceed with compare and contrast. Okay, I can see that you have learned a lot during our discussion. Again, what is the title of our next activity? Yes, Princess. Compare and contrast for teacher. Very good. Are you familiar with this concept or with this activity, children? Oh, yes, I can see your thumbs up. Very good. Now, compare and contrast is to tell the difference oops, and similarities between two or more things. Repeat is after me, children. What is compare and contrast again? Tell the difference. Tell the differences and similarities between two or more things. Very good. Very good, children. Okay, now we will proceed with our activity. So did you prepare uh, your materials? Can I see? Where is your band paper, pencil, and compass? Very good. All of you have prepared the materials. Okay, now we will be using your group on our previous session. So each pair will have an assigned artificial source of light. Then you will need to create a Venn diagram on your paper, just like this sample. So you need to compare the assigned artificial sources of light and natural sources of light. Again, children, what do you need to compare and contrast? The natural and artificial sources of light Okay, okay, very good. So this is the sample Venn diagram that you will need to do in your band paper. So on the left side of your diagram, you will write the characteristics, uses, or in purposes of artificial or rather the assigned artificial sources of light. Then on the right side, you will need to again write the characteristics, uses, purposes of natural sources of light. Then finally, on the middle part, you will need to write the similarity. Although this is a pair group, each one of you will need to write and create a Venn diagram on your band paper. Is that clear, children? Yes, for teacher. Very good. So I will give you 10 minutes to do this activity. And for group one, you will have the lamp for artificial. Then for the group two, you will have the candle. So group one is Princess and Jaisal. And the second group is Berenice and Ayesa. Is that clear? Do you have any questions? Yeah. Give teachers a thumbs up. OK, very well. Now, given our discussion and previous activities, you will probably not going to um, experience any um, hardship in doing, in doing this activity, especially if you really listen attentively. Now you have, no, um, I am allowing you to use Messenger so you can call each other and talk with your Venn diagram. But remember, after 10 minutes, you will come back in our Google Meet. Is that clear? Can I see a thumbs up? Yes, but sure. Okay, very good. Now you have 10 minutes. 
Okay. You may start now. Okay, the group one is already done. How about the group two? We're done. We're learning for. Wow, very good. I will give you a clap for that. It seems like you really listen well with our discussion. Very good, children. Okay, now. How was your experience in creating the Venn diagram? Can you share something? Was it hard or challenging? Okay, go ahead, Princess. Teacher, it's easy because we listen carefully in our discussion. That's great. You, listen, you really listen very well. Ayaza? Uh, yes, uh, rather, do you have something to share? Ano po, making compare and contrast Venn diagram is easy because we have done it before po. Oh, that's great. You have um, prior experiences with the compare and contrast. Very good. Now we will proceed with our presentation. Group one, are you ready to show us your Venn diagram? Yes. Teacher. Okay, start with your presentation, please. The picture we have here, the lamp, and the star. We use the star for natural light. So in the lamp, we wrote here that it can be used during night and daytime with the help of electricity. Well, in the star, it only appears at night and do not need electricity. In the lamp again, we wrote here that it is used in studying. Well, in star, it can help the night travelers to see at night. Then their similarity is they both produce light. That's all for teacher. Very good group one. That is a very well um presentation. I can see that you really learn and applied your overall learnings with our discussion. Now let's give group one a very good clap. Okay. One, two, three. Clap. One, two, three. Stomp. Very good. Very good. Very good. Once again, children, let's give the group one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good, very good, very good. That is a well-prepared presentation, Princess and Jason. And I like how you compare the lamp and the stars during at night and how it can help the people. That is very good. Now let's proceed with the second group who will present your Venn diagram. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. So for our group, we have candle and then our natural source of light is the moon. Okay. So it, we have wrote under candle that it is made of wax while the moon is a natural resource from the earth. Candle, it is man-made while moon is not man-made uh, and candle it is used whenever the light is unavailable while in the moon it can light up a white space their similarities are both can be helpful when it's dark and 
electricity is unavailable. Okay, great job. Also, a second group that is a very well um, presentation and comparison of your Venn diagram. Once again, let's give a very good clap to the second group. One, two, three. One, two, three, stop. Very good, very good, very good. Great job, children. I am happy to know that all of you really learned and listen attentively with teacher Lara. Okay, now we are down to our last activity. And wait up, let's... Okay, now I want... Some sharing about camping. Does anyone of you have tried going in a camp? Raise your hand if anyone of you. Okay, Ayasa, can you share some experiences during your camping? Teacher, so during our camping trip, po, we have packed food, water, we have flashlight, and um, clothes po, extra clothes. And then we made bonfire, we roasted marshmallow po during our camping. Wow, that was a great and wonderful experience, Ayesa. And it is also nice that you have prepared well for your camping. Does anyone want to share also? Okay, none. So Ayasa is the only one who go to a camping. Okay. For our last activity, we will answer your worksheet entitled Spot the Lights. So, Jaisel, can you read the instruction? Ko na lang po, teacher. Go ahead, Jaisel. princess. When your father are on a camping trip, find the objects that can help them in the dark. There are a total of six items you have to find in the picture and classify the object whether it is a natural or artificial source of light. Write your answer in your science notebook. Okay, thank you, princess. Now, can I see? Do you have your notebook and pen with you? Can I see your notebook and pens? Okay, very good. You're prepared. And for this activity, I want you to stay um, on calm so teacher can see that you are really doing your activity. And I will give you one minute to copy this table on your notebook. You will write your answers here in which item you will find. Is that clear? Give teacher a thumbs up if everything is clear. Okay. One minute, copy the table. Pens up if you are done copying the table, okay? Oh. Princess, Jaisal, and Ayasa are already done. Let's wait for Berenice. Can I see if we already done? Yes, for teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, here is the photo. Can you see it clearly, children? Okay, very good. So let me read the instructions again. Rita and her father are on a camping trip. Find the objects that can help them in the dark. There are a total of six items you have to find in the picture and classify the object whether it is a natural or artificial source of light. Write your answer in your science notebook. You have five minutes to find the items and write it in your notebook. You may start now. Okay, time's up. Are you all done? Pens up if you're done. 
Can I see your pens up? Pens up. Okay, very good. All of you are done. Now for checking, for the checking of your worksheet, you will check your own paper. Is that clear? Okay, that's clear. And I want you to honestly check your own paper. Now who can give me the least or the six items that will help Rita and her father in the dark? Who wants to share their answer? Raise your hand. Okay, go ahead, princess. Natural full moon and star and artificial fire tree and thorn tree tree that was flashlight flashlight teacher me malifu there's something wrong okay what is that yung tree po ano po siya dapat sa artificial po dapat flashlight Person, lamp, fire, and matches. Okay, thank you, Princess, for correcting. Let's give them a clap, class. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. Let's see the summarization of our answer. So, for the natural sources of light, we have moon and star. Then, artificial sources of light, we have kerosene lamp matches, flashlight, and fire. So it is right. We have no trees for the sources of light. Okay, and now that we are done with your worksheets, let's proceed with your assignment. So this will be your last activity. I want you to get, again, your science notebook and copy the instructions. You have no your notebook. Okay, very good. Now, in a short bond paper, you need to draw one scenario or a situation that shows how people use and see natural and artificial sources of light in their daily living. You need to include two examples of each source below your and below your drawing. You will write a short description about your drawing or about your artwork. Pens up if you are done copying your assignment. Okay, princess is done. And I guess it too. Very good. So here are the example of the artwork for assignment. This is made by my previous student in the other section. So you can see here his drawing. So we have the sun, the street lamp, and the candle. So he incorporated um, these sources of light in the daily living of her parents. So under it, my parents went on a date and celebrated their anniversary. So just like this one, you will create your own drawing. Is that clear? Okay, yes. thumbs up. Very good. So we will submit this assignment next Monday at our Google Classroom. Just upload your assignment there. Is there any questions? Okay, very good. There are no other questions. So for our closing prayer, please lead us, Ayesa. Okay, classmates, are you ready to pray? Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of our Lord and the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the lessons today. It's great to find out new things about your world. It's fun trying new skills and learning to read and write. Help us remember all we have learned today in class. We look forward to tomorrow and all the wonderful things we will be taught. This we ask in the mighty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, that is all for today. Thank you, class.
And with that, we say goodbye. Congratulations, class. You really learned a lot for today. So I hope you stay safe and see you in our next session. Bye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye. Thank you, Bye. 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 Bye